Dear friends, so welcome yeah. back again into my another lecture. Okay, we are discussing the model question paper uh, for the mathematics subject, Triple Stream students, third semester. This is the model paper uh, set two, question number ten B. A certain stimulus administered to each of twelve patients resulted in the following change in blood pressure. Okay, this is the data given: five two eight minus one three zero six minus two one five zero four in appropriate unit. Can it be considered concluded that on the whole the stimulus will change the blood pressure? Uh, T at five uh, percent level of significance is equal to two point two zero one. And what is this eleven? Eleven is called the degree of freedom. Okay, so degree of freedom is always equal to entities minus one. So uh, how many ent uh, entities are over there? Uh, these are the blood pressure data: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so you can write down twelve minus one, which is equal to eleven. This is your degree of freedom. That is what eleven is over here. Okay. So what we are usually doing in the t square distribution, as I earlierly told you, this model is totally uh, purely based on the formulas. Okay, so you need to put down the values in the formula and get down the answers over here, right? And uh, if we are getting less than the uh, given value uh, for this t, so that hypothesis will be accepted. If we are getting the value more than 2.201, then hypothesis will be rejected. Okay. So write down the first given data. So what is the sample size? That is 12 patients. N is equal to 12. Uh, let me call this data as x over here. So 5, 2, 8, minus 1, 3. This is uh, x over here. Now uh, we are calculating the x bar. Okay. So x bar formula is 1 upon n summation of x. So what is the n? What is the n value? So n value is uh, 12, right? So summation of x means this one. 5 plus 2 plus 8 minus 1. You have to uh, write down the summation of this much. Okay. This is the x value. So 1 by 12 into this summation, you will get x bar is equal to 31 by 12, and x bar is equal to 2.58, right? Then we have the formula for the variance. It is denoted by s square or sometimes sigma square, which is equal to 1 upon n minus 1 summation of x minus x bar whole square. Okay, so n is 12, so 1 divided by 12 minus 1, that is 1 by 11. See here, 1 by 11. Then summation of x minus x bar you have to take. So we have the x values were here, 5. And x bar value is 2.58. So 5 minus 2.58 whole square as it is in the formula. Then 2 minus 2.58. 2 minus 2.58 whole square plus 8 is the x value now. 8 my sorry 8 minus 2.58 whole square. Then plus <clears throat> this one minus 1 minus 2.58 minus 1 minus 2.58 whole square plus 3 minus 2.58 3 minus 2.58 whole square plus then 6. Minus 2.58, 6 minus 2.58 whole square plus then this one minus 2, minus 2.58, minus 2, minus 2.58 whole square plus then this one, okay? So 1 minus 2.58 whole square, then this 5, so 5 minus 2.58, then at last 4 minus 2.58. These zeros I am not considering, so 0 minus 2. Oh, sorry, I have missed two terms over here. That is your 0 minus this one, 0 minus 2. 5 8 whole square plus this again another zero is there zero minus 2.58 whole square okay so there will be a slight difference in the calculation see here then uh, s square is equal to 1 by 11 multiplied by this much when you just uh, calculate this much in the cal calculator over okay so whatever the value you will get multiply that value with this 1 by 11 you will get the overall value s square is equal to 9.538 then s is equal to Uh, so, uh, transfer this square into right hand side, so you will get s is equal to root of 9.538. So sigma or s is equal to 3.088. This is the uh, standard deviation. S square is called the variance. Uh, the s is called the standard deviation. Okay, you should remember this difference over here. So now in the problem, the mu is not given in the problem. See here, mean is not given in the problem, so we can assume that. Mu is equal to zero as it is not given in the problem. So we have the formula for the t distribution. T is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by n, or it is s over here. Okay. So t is equal to x bar. We have calculated 2.58. So 2.58 minus zero divided by uh, sigma. Sigma value we have calculated 3.088. Okay. So 3.088 divided by root of 12. N is the 12 sample value. So t is equal to once you will calculate it, you will get 2.89. Right. Then, since t is equal to 2.89 is greater than the given value, see here 2.20 was the given value 
we are getting 2.89 so it is greater than this uh, t of 5% layer of significance at 11 degree of freedom it is 2.201 so it is obviously greater than therefore i can conclude that your hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance as earlier i told you if we are getting uh, the value more than given value of t uh, then hypothesis will be rejected if we are getting less than the given value so your hypothesis will be accepted in that particular case okay so i hope this is clear to you people and also if you have doubts regarding this point so please ensure me in the comment box and uh, if you have subtle doubts i will clear it okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations thank you